word blazer, denoting the type of jacket, has long been known in the fashion world. By the way, it happened on behalf of the ships. In 1840, the captain of the cruiser HMS Blazer introduced a blue and white vertical striped jacket for his crew. Over time, any uniform jackets began to be called a blazer, regardless of whether they were striped or not. In the automotive market, this concept first appeared in the late 60s and is perceived in combination with trailblazing, which means to pave a new path, to be a pioneer. The debut of the Blazer model took place in 1969, then this car. Built on the basis of an all-wheel drive pickup truck, it was offered in various modifications, with a soft or hard top, with all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. Equipped with petrol engines 4.0L, 105 horsepower, 5.0L, 135 horsepower, 5.7L, 170 horsepower, 6.6L, 175 horsepower, and one diesel 6.2L, 130 horsepower. In 1983, a completely new generation of SUVs was introduced, called the Blazer S10. At the same time, the release of the older brother of the model, which is distinguished by its large dimensions and its stuffing, and also having the name Blazer K5, continued. This large Chevrolet in 1991 was seriously modernized and received the new name Tahoe. The S-Series rolled off the assembly line with 2.5 liter, 106 horsepower, 2.8 liter, 125 horsepower, and 4.3 liter, 180 to 190 horsepower, petrol engines in a three or five door body, as well as an all wheel drive or rear wheel drive versions. In 1994, a new generation of the model saw the light. This generation was produced in different countries, so the appearance, as well as the stuffing of various modifications, differed significantly depending on the destination market. The car was equipped with the following engines, petrol 2.2L, 113 horsepower, and 4.3L Dottis, as well as a 2.5L turbo diesel, 95 horsepower. In 1998, some modifications were facelift and received a new all-wheel drive transmission. In 2001, the next generation named Trailblazer was introduced. In addition to the new body and interior, the model received a modern 5-link rear suspension, and the power of the upgraded 4.2-liter V6 reached 270 horsepower. It's worth clarifying right away that very different cars are sold in our secondary market under the name Blazer. So, they can be purebred Yankees, and Americans made for Europe, and Brazilians who came to us from Russia thanks to the creation of the GMLAZ joint venture there, but about such a little lower. Therefore, depending on the destination market, representatives of this model have noticeable external differences and their inner world is different. Body. The model was produced in two body styles, three and five door. The latter was distinguished by an increased wheelbase, which means greater capacity and better driving performance. The vast majority of specimens have a fairly extensive stuffing, which includes power accessories, air conditioning, power steering, adjustable steering column, ABS, and even leather interior. In Russia, in the city of Yelabuga, the assembly production of this model settled in 1996. I would like to emphasize that they assembled her Brazilian version, which has a slightly different body design. These modifications, which sharp tongued fellow citizens nicknamed the word resulting from the addition of the letter E to the name Blazer, were delivered from Brazil in an almost finished form, and it took eight hours to bring them into a marketable appearance. The cable of workers spent eight hours screwing the missing headlights bumpers, seats, which also had to be collected, and some little things. Thus, the car became a Russian product, in which, in fact, only the jack and rugs were Russian, and toured one customs office. Elibus C were produced in several versions, the simplest and cheapest had a 4 times 2 wheel arrangement. The highest achievement was considered to be specimens with a 4.3 liter engine, delivered directly from North America, all wheel drive and a very worthy filling. In addition to the design, the Brazilian version was also distinguished by its adaptability to difficult road conditions, which was expressed in a reinforced suspension, increased ground clearance and a number of other improvements. In total, about 4,000 cars were assembled, and they are now in large numbers on the secondary market. As for their reputation, it is, let's say, somewhat tarnished, and not only the sensational lawsuit over a defective motor is to blame for this, but mainly the Latin American origin of car kits the manufacturers of which even in a nightmare have no idea what frosts and salty roads are.
These conditions undermined not only the electrics, but also the paintwork, and although the GMs tried to improve the situation, there were no radical changes. That is why now in advertisements for the sale of this version you can often read the following, good condition, not broken, needs painting. And it all ended like this, the crisis of 98 put an end to the production of this SUV in Russia, and the copies dragged on for several years. Blazer was produced both in the all-wheel drive version and in the version with one leading, rear, axle. Rear-wheel drive modifications are, by and large, the usual station wagon of the classical layout, which has increased cross-country ability, except perhaps due to a solid ground clearance. But in our country, with its eternal misfortune, meaning roads, and climatic features, they are not popular, and in order not to accidentally become the owner of this, neither fish nor meat, when by, you should pay attention to the presence of buttons in the cabin that respond for the inclusion of the front axle and downshift. If there are buttons, then it is advisable to check the serviceability of the systems they turn on in real conditions or simulated. For example, when hanging a car on a lift. It is worth diagnosing this because the electric drive for controlling the transfer case is a unit that is not very reliable and practically unrepairable. To restore the Jeep abilities of the machine, it will have to be replaced. And in addition to the transfer case, a thorough check will help identify the condition of other transmission elements. By type of all-wheel drive, this is a traditional SUV, where the rear axle is the main one and the front axle can only be connected on off-road or slippery roads. However, in recent years of production, some copies began to be equipped with a modern electronic system for distributing torque along the axis. Accordingly, it became possible to use the 4x4 mode on a hard surface without undesirable consequences for the transmission. However, regardless of the type of complete came, it must be remembered that this model is not intended for use in heavy off-road conditions, and the consequences of such use appear quickly, and their elimination is expensive. Engine. Three types of engines were installed on the model, gasoline four-cylinder 2.2L-113 horsepower, on the Latin American version, six-cylinder with its own name Vertac 4.3L-179-199 to horsepower and an extremely rare 2.5-liter 95 horsepower turbo diesel. As for the first option, it is frankly weak for this not the easiest car but Vertec is just right. This motor has been produced for a long time and has a good reputation. However, it also has weaknesses. Firstly, the EGR exhaust gas afterburning system valve, which requires replacement every 100,000 kilometers, and secondly, attachments such as a starter and generator. Well, high fuel consumption, which comes with active driving up to 25 liters per hundred. You also need to consider the following feature of the machine. Its fuel pump does not differ in survivability, and even having installed a new original one, one cannot be sure that it will last for a long time. Besides, the running car has recorded repeated cases of breakdown from rust of its fastening fittings located inside the gas tank. It is not easy to replace, and the repair costs a pretty penny. Transmission. Paired with motors, a 5-speed manual gearbox and a 4-speed adaptive automatic were installed. Both units, during normal operation and maintenance, do not create serious problems for a long time. But for fans of extreme drive, the automatic does not last long, and its imminent demise can be predicted by a number of indirect signs, from the color and smell of oil to the smoothness and timeliness of gear changes. Suspension This frame SUV has an independent suspension in front, but a real anachronism in the back is a solid axle beam mounted on springs. Such a design does not provide the car with good directional stability, it demonstrates roll in corners and woolness of the steering wheel, in fact, everything that distinguishes the Americans for the most part. By the way, front passengers note a high ride smoothness, and those who get rear seats complain about shaking in an uncomfortable seat when traveling on broken roads. As for the resource of the chassis, in general, but in many respects due to the simple design, it is quite large and its weakest link is the ball bearings of the front levers. Behind, and with a fairly solid mileage, everything is often native, with the exception of shock absorbers. But if the car was regularly overloaded or it was used as a tow of a heavy trailer, then the spring may need to be replaced. They are not cheap, but their condition is easily determined visually by the sagging of the rear of the body. In addition, the durability, 50 to 70,000 kilometers, of such steering elements as the pendulum lever and bipod do not differ. One thing pleases, they are inexpensive and change relatively easily. 
and in the car there are a number of small problematic strong components and systems, for example, the rear door wiper rarely lives up to his seventh birthday, the same can be said about the stove motor. Like most cars equipped with air conditioning, the age of five to seven years is critical for the evaporator radiator and tubes of this system. In general, this is a rather successful model of a universal vehicle, the popularity of which did not arise from scratch, which I confirm with the code of the property of rogue specimens, exceeded two million.